Hi, this is a uh, video response to uh, Mike Barton's challenge for building up a, uh, a walking stick. I'm out here with uh, my old dog Maya. Maya, Maya, hey. Just taking a walk in the woods. I've got about, uh, from the look of the sky, I've probably about, got about an hour left of light, so. Uh, gonna walk about and see if I can find any interesting pieces of wood. Uh, I'm looking for, um, I think it'd be nice to find uh, an interesting uh, cherry wood uh, since um, I just made some scales for uh, my knife handle with, uh, with that wood and the patterns are really nice so if I could find uh, maybe a, an old dead cherry wood tree. Anyway, we'll walk about and we'll see what we find. Guess he's not that old after all. Hey, he's at you. I thought she left me. She just went on a walk. I'm taking a look at this piece here, at least this wood, and uh, some of it's rotten, but the core seems pretty good. There seems to be a tinge of uh, not even sure what type of wood this is. For some reason, I think this is actually cherry. But I'm really not sure. You know, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna look at the more in the middle of this and see what the wood looks like. It might be a good candidate. Looks like the, uh, the wood underneath this is, is still in good condition. The rest of the, the end of the limb was pretty rotten, but uh, looks like, it looks pretty good. Looks pretty All right, so we're back in the comfort of the shop. And uh, I've got our, we'll assume, cherry tree branch back in the shop. And uh, so, Next to the fire, I just took off a bit, just to see what's uh, kind of woods underneath. Make sure that I'm not bringing back something completely rotten. And it looks pretty good. Look, the most of the wood looks pretty sound. Uh, we got some nice color rings there that uh, should make some nice patterns. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, use the draw knife to take the rest of this bark off of the branch and um, since this is pretty thick you see that it's about it's about a uh, two inches probably two and a half inches diameter um, at, 
the base. So I'm going to want something probably around one inch uh, the whole way through. Maybe I'll have some wavy, um, some different uh, thicknesses throughout. All right, after a bit of mess, I have most of the stick about the same diameter. So you see here, it's about an inch and a half. Nice comfortable size in my hand. We've also exposed some nice grain patterns If you hadn't noticed, I'm using my customized BK11 that we just did last week, and it's perfect. <laughs> it is perfect for this type of task, and it's exactly what I wanted it for. Little whittling knife, but it's big enough to be a survival, like a bushcraft knife, but it is just the right size for these kind of uh, small, precise tasks. You can see it's all nice, silky smooth. So I just went around one uh, one time with uh, 120. So I spent quite a bit of time with 120 to really smooth out the ridges, and then uh, went uh, one pass with a 220, and then another uh, a good amount of time with 400. So now it's like really nice and smooth. It would be ready to receive a finish. Uh, on the wood We're, we should have some really nice some really nice patterns coming out once the because uh, there's all kinds of uh, growth rings exposed here not so good for a bow but really nice for a walking stick so uh, next would be decorations so this, is, this is supposed to be an art an artistic uh, Project, so I'll start on some uh, some carving, maybe a design or two. Just have fun with it. Look, I put my blood into it. It's part of me now. You guys know that I just love Chuo for uh, finishing up uh, to get a good finish on on wood. So let's try. Here we go. Let's try that out. Okay. So the color doesn't change that much. That's a bit more.
it does darken the finish Oop. it does darken it somewhat and it gives a nice little shine to it but uh yeah. so um since the color wasn't as flagrant as i uh, wanted it uh even i'm gonna try something don't know if i'm gonna ruin the whole thing but i'm gonna try it anyway i have this gel stain that i had bought for another project that i never ended up using and uh, i'm gonna try to use it as a glaze so the concept of a glaze is if you put on a product over a finished already product usually stain you want to put it on a non-finished wood uh, in order for it to penetrate as deeply as possible into the wood so I'm going to try this out and hopefully so a glaze if I put it over it uh, basically I'm going to put it on and I'm going to wipe it away and it'll stick in all little crevices so Look at how that, the, the details just popped out now. I really like that. All right, so leather, leather uh, handle or hand guard, whatever. Nice and comfy, has more grip, looks kind of nice. And the the, um, the oiled surface with the uh, gel stain glaze really accentuated the detail of, uh, of all the carvings that uh, that we did. So that kind of worked out pretty well. It also added more color to the actual staff or walking stick. It accentuated a lot of the details in that too. Yeah. So. Nice little project. Hopefully, uh, hopefully, Mike, uh, it'll satisfy satisfy the rules of the game. And uh, yeah, had a lot of fun. Thanks a lot for the challenge.